Hello students, uh, this is the first video of cost sheet. In this video, I will cover what is cost sheet, cost sheet format and most important four solved problems of cost sheet with different types. This video is made with the uh, covering the syllabus of BCom, BBA, MCom, MBA, CA, CS and CMS students. So let's understand what is cost sheet. Cost sheet or statement of cost is a statement that is prepared to present the information regarding the various elements of cost incurred in production during the defined time period. Here elements of cost is refers to material, labor and other expenses. Here we will cover direct expenses as well as indirect expenses that is overhead expenditure. So this statement comprising the entire data in a systematic manner. The cost sheet is generally prepared for a short intervals like weekly, monthly and represents the total cost as well as the cost per unit of products manufactured during that period. In the sense, the objective of this cost sheet is to know the exact expenditure and cost incurred in a particular time period are for, for a particular product. At the same time, we will also calculate this cost per unit even. This, the cost sheet does not have any statutory format. Here, we don't have any legal format. You can prepare as per your conveniency, as per your requirement, which can be used for understanding in a better way. It is not part of the accounting system. Cost sheet is not a part of the accounting system. The object is to understand the cost of the product and how it has been incurred on various elements. The purpose of cost sheet is to present the elements of cost in as much as detail possible. In the sense, in a detailed manner, the cost information will be furnished. So this is the cost sheet format. So cost sheet for the of XYZ for the year ended like this we can write the heading. So particulars rupees rupees cost per unit column even you can prepare if it is required. And most important the cost sheet starts with opening stock of raw material plus purchase of raw material plus carriage on purchases or carriage inverse. All together will be added. From this, we will deduct material return to supplier. Any material is return to supplier that will be deducted. Then closing stock of material will be deducted. The resultant figure, whatever we get, that is called as material consumed. To this, we add direct expenses, that is direct wages and other direct expenses. After adding this, the resultant figure is called as prime cost. Right? Till this extent, the total direct expenditure incurred will be recorded till prime cost. From here onwards, we record overhead expenditure. That is, first we will consider factory or works overhead. Under this, we will incur, we will record all the indirect expenditures which are incurred related to production of product, related to manufacturing of a product, related to making the product, which will be incurred in the factory or workshop. All those expenditures will be recorded. Examples I have furnished on productive wages, then factory rent and taxes, factory lighting, factory insurance, depreciation of plant and machinery. From this expenditure, we will deduct the sale of scrap if it is given in the question. Then we will add opening stock of work in progress, then deduct closing stock of work in progress. Then we will get total expenditure of factory overheads. If you add this, then you will get factory cost. To this factory cost, you will add administration and office overhead. In the sense, the expenditure which will be incurred in the process of administration of the uh, organization, right? Whatever expenditure incurred in the office, that is office insurance, office uh, employee salary, legal expenses, director's fee, rent of the office, depreciation of office building, bank charges, office stationery, all these expenditures will be added and collectively these expenses will be written in the outer column. These are called as administrative or office overheads. 
once you add this to the factory cost or works cost you will get cost of production of goods to this you will add opening stock of finished goods minus closing stock of finished goods the resultant figure is called as cost of goods sold then you will add selling and distribution overheads in the sense in order to sell the product whatever expenditure we incur towards the selling as well as distribution promotion those all expenses will be recorded here uh, examples are advertisements sales department salary commission on sales bad debts rent of warehouse depreciation of delivery van drivers cleaner salary upkeeping of dry, uh, delivery van all these expenses together we club and write in the outer column this is called as selling and distribution overhead once you add these overheads to cost of goods sold the resultant figure is called as cost of sales or total cost to this you will add your profit margin then you will come to a conclusion of what should be the sales so this is the basic format of the cost sheet clear and cost sheet preparation is one of the easiest chapter of cost accounting clear so let's take up the four questions of different types so that you can easily understand how to solve the problems with the university examination so we'll take up the first problem in this question we have provided information direct wages chargeable expenses in the sense direct expenses opening stock of raw material material purchased during the period closing stock of material carriage inverse carriage outwards and material written to supplier this information we have furnished then we are asked to prepare what cost sheet sorry what we are asked to calculate prime cost only prime cost not the entire cost sheet that's the reason why i have taken the heading calculation of prime cost then particulars rupees rupees starts with the same way as we have uh, understood in the format that is opening stock of raw material 10,000 which is already given in the question add purchase of raw material that is 60,000 add carriage on purchases or carriage inverse is a direct expenditure if you add together it will be 71,500 this is called as the total direct expenditure from this we will be deducting material return to supplier given in the question 1500 minus closing stock of raw material once you deduct these values, the resultant figure 50,000 is the total raw material consumed during the period. To this raw material consumed, if you add direct expenses that is given in the question direct wages, then you will get resultant figure. Then direct chargeable expenses is also given in the question that is 5,000. If you add these three values, that is material consumed plus direct expenses, the resultant figure is 1,5,000. This is called as your prime cost. So quite easy. Just put the values and make the summation. Clear? So this is the way we can calculate the cost sheet. We'll take up the next question. Right. So in this question, prepare cost sheet showing factory cost from the following. Right. So given information, opening stock of raw material, closing stock, purchase of raw material, carriage outwards. See, bear in mind, carriage outwards we did not consider in the earlier question even. Carriage outwards is a selling and distribution expenditure. That is the reason why we don't consider carriage outwards. Direct wages, indirect factory expenses are 100% of direct wages. Right? So, how to solve this problem? So, I have uh, kept the answer here. The same way we have done opening stock of raw material. Purchases of raw material minus closing stock of raw material, we get raw material consumed, that is 23,000. Add direct expenses, that is direct wages, we get prime cost. To this, we are adding factory or works overhead. 100% on direct wages given in the question. Therefore, our direct wages are 10,000, 10,000 into 100%, 10,000. If you add 33,000 plus 10,000, 43,000 is our factory or works cost. Bear in mind, carriage outwards will be a selling and distribution expenditure therefore we did not consider here clear so we'll take up the next question uh, from the following information prepare a statement of cost of production 
for the year 1993 opening stock of raw material purchase of raw material uh, then closing stock of raw material direct wages calculate factory overheads at the rate of 20% on prime cost and office overhead at the rate of 80% on factory overheads quite easy to calculate so i have already provided the answer here the cal calculation of cost of production for the year 1993 same way opening stock of raw material purchase of raw material closing stock of raw material should be deducted material consumed direct expenses we have added we got prime cost now here add factory or works over it what did he say 20 percent on direct wages clear so what did he say calculate factory over it at the rate of 20 percent on prime cost sorry so our prime cost is how much 11,52,000 into 20% that is 2,30,400. So resultant figure we got works or factory cost. To this admin and office overhead we have to add. He said in the question 80% of factory overheads. So factory overheads are 2,30,400 into 80%. So 1,84,320 is the factory overheads. Sorry admin overheads. If you make the summation, you will get cost of production. Clear? So this is the precise way of doing the cost shape. Right, next question. A company produces 100 units of commodity. So units information is provided here. The cost of production is direct material, direct wages, direct expenses, factory overheads, admin overheads. If profit of 25% on sales is to be realized, what should be the selling price of each unit of the commodity? So here it is a different question where we have given units information as well as we are asked to calculate the profits even. Very easy. You can easily do. Please do try to understand. Right, we have prepared the format of cost sheet, particulars, rupees, and I have made one more column, cost per unit. That is 100 units we are manufacturing. Same way, direct material we have given in the question, we have taken 10,000. Direct wages we have given in the question, 5,000. Then direct expenses we have given in the question, 10,000. All these direct expenses, the resultant figure is called as prime cost. The summation of all direct expenditures is prime cost. So we have incurred 16,000 prime cost for making 100 units. So what is the cost per unit? That is 16 rupees. 16,000 divided by, sorry, 160 rupees. 16,000 divided by 100, 160 rupees. To this, we will add factory overheads. So factory overheads are how much? 6,500. Per unit, it is 65. That is 6,500 divided by 100. So resultant figure, we are getting 22,500 amount that is called as factory or works cost. If you want to calculate per unit divided by 100, we will get 225 rupees. To this, we will add admin overheads. How much the question gives admin overhead are 3,480. Per unit, it will be 34.8 divided by 100, right? 3,480 divided by 100, 34.8. So if you add this, the resultant figure is called as cost of production. Per unit is 259.8. But here we need to add profit to find out the sales. Clear? So we have only cost of production. We don't have sales. When we add profit, then only we'll get the selling price or sales. But the question says, if the profit of 25% on sales is to be realized what should be the selling price we don't know the sales how to calculate profit on sales if it is profit on cost directly we would have taken 25,980 into 25 percent but he did not say on cost he said on sales we don't know the sales therefore for this we need to do working notes in working notes i am writing an equation what is that is this equation says cost plus profit is equals to selling price total cost to that we add profit then we will get selling price clear this is the basic formula for calculation of selling price let's assume selling price be 100 selling price i am assuming as 100 so selling price i am taking 100 then profit is how much 25 percent on selling price so 100 into 25 percent i will get 25 then what should be my cost? Cost should be the balancing figure that is 100 minus profit, 75 is the cost. 
so cost is already available that is 25980 when 75 is the total cost how much 2259.8 per unit i have taken either way you can do right 259.8 i have taken as cost per unit so 75 is the total cost per unit is 25 259.8 then how much is 25 how much is sales 25 is profit 100 is sales so directly we can calculate sales by cross multiplication multiplication 75 is 259.8 100 how much therefore what will be the mathematical equation 259.8 that is cost into this cost uh, refers to how much 75 how much we want we want selling price 100 therefore into 100 by 75 right so 259.8 is refer, uh, equals to 75 therefore 100 is sales so into 100 we will keep sales as numerator 100 divided by total cost 75 is equals to we are getting 346.4 this is our selling price therefore what do we do we write sales selling price 346.4 then multiply with 100 units you will get total sales right 34640 then balancing figure that is 8660 will be taken as profit in terms of total rupees in terms of units 86.6 so this balancing figure is called as profit so this is the precise way of doing the problem clear i hope i made you understand the crux of the working notes right if you have any doubt please do put in the uh, comment i would be glad to give you a reply clear so i hope i made you understand the cost sheet basic concepts please do watch the video and try to understand so i wish you all the best thanks for watching the video do subscribe my channel mentor the trusted guide and motivate me to make more qualitative and informative videos thank you very much